This technique is one of the most common tasks I perform with conditional formatting. Making important information stand out from the rest of the interface is critical to a successful solution. So let me go over what this file is all about. It's not very complicated, but if you take a look in Manage Database, you'll see a very simple set of tables, companies, and employees. They're related based on a primary and foreign key. And they have in here the ability to allow creation of related records and delete records. So here's the portal based on that. Obviously, I can come down here and enter a new name in here. I have a notes field. I also have a company field up here. And so a very basic example to show you something I've put in a more complicated solution to make information stand out. Let's start with the most simple. You can see right now that this company is active, but if I make them inactive, it turns it gray. So what does this do? Well, somebody comes by and looks at this record because you definitely don't want to delete records because if you delete a record, in most cases, whatever it's attached to is going to be orphaned. So what you'll see is unknown in there. You don't want that to happen. It's especially common with an invoicing solution. You have invoicing and products. You delete the product, then it disappears from all the old invoices, even though you're not selling anymore. Better to inactivate it, make it not show in the pop-up menu when you select products for an invoice. Same idea here. Don't want to delete this company because there's all kinds of information about it, but you don't want them to be active. You want the person to know when they're looking at this record that they're inactive. And one of the ways you can do it is to dim out some of the text, just like I did. You can see how it's grayed there, and if I click it again, it comes black, and it's more obvious that it's you know, uh, available and usable. I also put in here this primary checkbox. Now, it does basically the same thing. Well, it actually does two things. If I check Ida Osborne, you see she floats up to the top. So the idea here is that you might have a contact manager, and you have five people at that company, and you want the most important one, the primary contact, to float up to the top. And so that's great. You sort the portal. Not really part of this tip, but let me show you. So you come in here, and you sort the portal by the primary field, which has either got a one or blank. So I sort it in descending order. But also what we're doing in here is coming into this field and saying, I want that to show you know, bolded. Not just have the primary checkbox checked, but also make it bolded so it stands out. And just simply say, does the primary equal one, then turn the text bold. It's very simple. Conditional formatting is great. You can do all kinds of things with it. You come in here and do italics, underline, strike through, text color, fill color, icon color. You can even come in here and do more formatting. All kinds of formatting you can do these fields or buttons and things like that. Now, I did accidentally miss the conditional formatting on this one. I explained it, but let's show you what it is. We say if the company's field is empty, or I'm sorry, the active field is empty, then we say change the text color to this color. Very simple. Not You don't have to do a whole lot with conditional formatting, and for that matter, tool tips or placeholder text or any of the object features like hide object that we're going to show you here to get something that works for you that makes your interface pop. I don't usually do much more than this. You can see also I have this notes field here. I'm going to cut this out of there. You'll see that once I do that, the notes field turns white. But as soon as there are notes in there, then it indicates if you're on this tab that there's some notes that you might need to see. So you might want to look at those. Very simple again, just some conditional formatting. This time it's on the tab. So go into conditional. And you'll see it's text color green and bolds it when it's not empty, when the notes have something in them. Very simple. And then we also have this save button here. This save button requires that there be a company name in here as well as some employees. Well, maybe I'm wrong about that. Let's check. I took it out and it's still blue. So let's go ahead and see what that, form, that uh, formula is. So we'll say conditional. You'll see I do the icon color for the button as well as the text color. Match them up. It says the employee ID has to be not empty. And the notes has to be not empty. So I forgot. It wasn't the company field, but that. So we'll go in there and say, OK, let's look at the notes. I'll go back to browse mode, take this out. And you see how it dims out. Now, this button doesn't actually do anything. I haven't attached it because that's not part of what we're trying to do. But this would be a save button that says, hey, I'm done with this record. I can move on. That's more of a you know something for a, a scripting class 
that we could cover something like that. But I'll put it back in there as soon as both this and the employees are filled in, at least one employee, then you can actually hit the Save button. It indicates that it's actually available at this point. You'll also have to add to your script the same condition so it doesn't run. Because it's not disappearing, it's just dimming. Sometimes you don't want the object to completely disappear, you just want it to be dimmed so you know that it's not available.